Hello, baby. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. I was about calling you. Hope you have a nice day at work. Sure. Come on, okay. I understand you have a stressful day. But at least give me a hug or something. No, I can't tell you. Let it be. Please, we need to talk. Okay. I'm really sorry, but you have to go back. Why? Have I done something wrong? No, it's not what you're thinking, okay? It's not about you. It's about my mom. Your mom? Yes, my mom. She's been stopped from work. Their office has been closed down due to the order from the government. See, so many businesses in this country have been suspended in order to fight coronavirus. And <sighs> This coronavirus thing is serious, isn't it? It is, babe. You know my mom wouldn't like to stay here, but she's coming because she wants to isolate herself for a while. And she claims living here is cheaper. She said, I mean, that's the explanation. So it means I have to travel all the way back to Ghana again. I'm sorry, babe. I wish I could do something about it, but I'm stuck. I don't want you to go. I'll miss you a lot. It's okay, it's fine. Come on, baby. No, I'm from work. I haven't taken my shower yet. That's why I'm distancing myself from you, okay? I can't even wipe my tears until I make sure I have a clean cloth and also sanitize my hands. So is that the only way you can keep yourself safe? Not only me, babe. Even you and everyone in the world. The best we can do is to use hand sanitizers, wash our hands frequently, and keep social distance. This issue is not a joke, babe. It has no cure, no medicine. I still can't believe this coronavirus thing is real. I think it's an European disease. Babe, or... honey, honey, <sighs> honey, honey. Please, stop that primitive belief. I'm sorry, this is a global pandemic. It is not a joke. So please, believe it and be safe. At least for our future sake. Please. So if this pandemic is real, what is it sure we are not infected? Honey, please, can you turn on the team one for As part of the measures to fight coronavirus, the government of Uganda has ordered for the closure of its bodies and other food shops. was due to be tested for the COVID-19 coronavirus, absconded from hospital. In the midst of these difficult times, government is asking the general public to adhere to social distancing. My name is Daniel, a Ghanaian filmmaker. On the 21st of March 2020, I traveled to Uganda to visit my fiancée, Wendy, where I spent the night. The next day, the government of Uganda announced the closure of its borders and airport. So I have to travel back to Ghana in a rush. Upon arrival, 
I was quarantined for 14 days by the government in a camp. One week through the 14 days, I started feeling feverish, dry cough, and sneezing. Eventually, I tested positive to COVID-19, which is the coronavirus. To cut a long story short, it took God's love and mercy for my immune system to be able to fight the virus. I now test negative to coronavirus and my fiance too, Wendy. Lastly, I want to urge whoever is watching this video to wash your hands frequently under running water with soap and also sanitize your hands anytime you touch something. Make sure you're putting on your face mask anytime you step out. Make sure you're keeping the physical distance and you avoid social gathering. If you have nothing doing in town, stay home and stay safe. Thank you. Hello, babe. Hello, babe. I love you so much.